As part of efforts to support entrepreneurs within the creative space in the country, 10 emerging music professionals have been awarded grants of £3,000 each by the British Council through its Maiden Music Industry Project, the Creative Enterprise Support Programme. The program is aimed at stimulating links between the UK and Ghanaian music creative economy by delivering training and mentoring for young emerging music professionals in Ghana in partnership with their peers in the UK. This report has the details. In December 2021, the British Council launched their Maiden Music Industry Project, Creative Enterprise Support Program, delivered by Culture Forward, Impact Up Accra, and the University of the Art London. According to the Council, the initiative was part of efforts to create more employment within Ghana's creative industry, as the sector in Ghana is rapidly growing and increasingly recognized as a pathway for sustainable livelihoods for young people across art forms such as music, fashion, film, etc. The program was designed with the aim of stimulating links between the UK and Ghanaian music creative economy by delivering training, mentoring, networking and business development services for young emerging music professionals in Ghana in partnership with their peers in the UK. As part of efforts to support entrepreneurs within the space, 10 emerging music professionals have been awarded grants of £3,000 each by the British Council through the Creative Enterprise Support Programme. Paul Kweku Akrofi is an art consultant with the British Council and he spoke to City Business News on the rationale behind the program. It's evident that Ghana is abound with creative creativity, right? And for us at the British Council Creative Economy Team, with the arts team, um, we see that as a vehicle for employment, right? We see the art sector as a massively untapped sector in Ghana and really at Africa at large that needs to be tapped, especially looking at the value chain and opportunities to create employment for the youth, which is what we are seeking to do with these programs. So really for the Creative Enterprise Support Program, our aim is not really to, to get an artistic output, but really to empower these creatives who have these innate skills to develop business skills, right, in addition to these creative skills they have, so that they can also create employment, create businesses, either create new businesses or create better businesses as a result of this program, and be able to impact the value chain, right, be able to create businesses across their different value chains. So that's really the vision for this program. As you saw, we started with 60 of them. We had a number of applicants, but we started with 60. We narrowed down to 30, and now these final 10 are getting the checks uh, of 3,000 pounds each, you know, to support them in their careers and in what with everything, we have an impact team. I mean, part of this program is an alumni program, and so it's not just, you know, we're handing you a check and saying, you know, God be with you, <laughs> but but we're, 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 we're inducting our alumni group, and what's going to happen is that there's a series of events that we are going to organize with them as well, and um, going forward, especially this is financial year, where we're just going to engage them in projects and going to engage them in external activities and also just be able to monitor their progress and their growth as well. Some of the music professionals also spoke to City Business News. We have like a lot of visions that we want to accomplish and this this has really made me have like more knowledge on how to approach the music business properly and make sustainable income to, to sustain me, myself, my friends and my family. I'm very happy that upon all the 60 contestants I was able to be in the top 10. That means they really saw something special in me and I believe I am special so 